uh, there uh, was so there, there was uh, there was uh, a lot of allegations that our supporters were going to destroy businesses in Nairobi. They were going to vandalize businesses in Nairobi. I think it's good to observe, and the media can attest to this, that there was no any protesters of Azimio who destroyed any businesses in Nairobi or anywhere else. And I think this, this is something that is very important to note because this is what the other side has been selling and, and uh, to business community that uh, our protesters will destroy businesses. We want to thank our supporters and request them that when they come next week, they maintain the same cool of not destroying any businesses. Okay. All right. What, what I wanted to say is that I've heard. Bobby. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very tall. Okay. Thank you very much. The first thing I want to do is to thank Kenyans who yesterday demonstrated that they are tired with this impunity. The person who is purporting not to respect the law is the one who is now acting as if he is above the law. William Ruto and this commander of Nairobi called Bugay. You should have heard him yesterday. He was so bitter, commanding the police, telling them, Pay dawa, pay dawa, pay dawa, wakule dawa. Because he did not care. I've heard my colleagues say that we did not present any petition. You know, don't think we are stupid and think Kenyans are stupid. If you barricade and you block every access to any public office, how else are we going to be able to present the petition? The truth of the matter is this. Kenyans are tired. Kenyans demonstrated yesterday, and yesterday it was not only a Zimio demonstrating. It was every Kenyan who is now tired, who is hungry, and who knows that what is happening with this William Ruto administration is I illegal. Today we you saw in the, in the papers, and this is actually very, very wrong, that they have now allocated around 8 or 2 million shillings to buy vehicles. Sure. This is the only thing they care about. They just care about vehicles. They care about uh, million dollar houses. That is what they care about. They don't care about Kenyans. I've heard my colleagues saying, at yesterday we destroyed Mamambogas. You are the ones who are killing the Mamambogas. The Mamambogas are no longer there. You know, Raila Odinga has stood as a chief hustler for many years. He's the one who has always been there to protect them. And that is why Kenyans yesterday were marching in solidarity. And in fact, I am now more energized than before. Seeing Raila Amolo Dinga in the front line, his car is the one which is in the front, walking in front, telling Kenyans, we are now tired of this uh, illegality being perpetrated by the William Ruto administration, and we want to warn anyone who will continue threatening us. There are so many threats. They say they will kill us. They will do so many things. Even, even, even members of parliament here from Kenya Kwanza are saying we are going to try now and assassinate some of you. Let me tell you, we are fighting for posterity. We want this country to be a country that people will continue respecting the rule of law. And uh, my colleagues have summarized. All we are asking for are three things. Number one, open the server. Number two, lower the cost of living. Number three, make sure that you suspend this IEBC. Those are very, you know, basic demands. Meet those demands and then we move on. Otherwise, I thank you. Women, ladies, one of them is so sana. We forgot that women here. Okay. Ha, mimi kwanza nataka ni seme na nitoe pongezi sana kwa wale vinara wetu wote wazimio kuweza kutuongoza katika maandamano maandamano ya kutetea hali ya maisha ya mkenya na niulize swali sisi sote tuliangalia katika runinga je kule South Africa tuliona polisi wakipigia watu tia gas tuliona polisi wakichapa wa Kenya waliachiwa maandamano yao kwa sababu ni right yao wakafanya maandamano kwa haki lakini hapa Kenya ni kana kwamba ile katiba tulipitisha ama zile sheria sasa mnakuja na sheria zenu ambazo siju mnazipanga ama mnazichora na nani mimi nataka kusema najua sasa you will intimidate us you will threaten us you will instill some fear in us lakini sisi we are going to remain firm for this cause for Kenyans tutasimama imara na mwisho nataka ni seme wamesema ya kwamba oh sehemu nyingine ku kufanya maandamano vinara walikuwa wamesema the mother rally ni Nairobi to concentrate Nairobi na leo vinara wakisema tufanye kwa counties tufanye kwa constituency tufanye kwa wards you will see those rallies in the counties in the constituencies and in the wards 